Today we will be reviewing the Debris, the original tarot. The following description is taken directly from the Debris website. The original tarot is a digitally remastered set of cards featuring the artwork of Pamela Coleman Smith under the direction of Arthur Edward Waite. Printed on the finest cardstock, the images are beautifully enhanced and the colors are vibrant. Printed on 350 GSM paper, this deck is highly durable and made to last. Using the latest technology, the cards have high color saturation with crisp, vectorized images. There is no branding in the corner, making it professionally and aesthetically pleasing. The back of the card has a simple, neutral design that our customers love. This particular deck was purchased from Amazon in 2022. Per the card Tux Box, this deck was printed in China. The box itself is a standard folded Tux Box. The 86-page tarot guidebook contains full-page color images of the major arcana and smaller two-card-per-page color images of the minor arcanas. A three-card spread, very brief card meetings, and symbolism are also included with upright and reversed key terms. I can't exactly replicate what the cards will feel like in your hands, but perhaps the following information will be helpful to you. In this video, we will be reviewing the original tarot deck by DeBry. However, at the end of the weights and measures section, I will include a comparison page comparing all the measured details to the Smith Weight Tarot Deck Centennial Edition. Additionally, one of the silent flip-throughs will include a head-to-head -head comparison of the original tarot and the Centennial Deck side-by-side. -side. The original tarot measures 12 centimeters by 7 centimeters. The total deck height is 28.8 millimeters. Total deck weight is 228.8 grams. Individual card weights vary from 2.88 grams to 2.98 grams. Averaged over the 78 cards in the deck, the total deck weight averages out to 2.93 grams per card. Somewhat ironically, the full is the lightest card at 2.88 grams, while the heaviest card is the Ten of Swords at 2.98 grams. Card thickness varies from 0.39 millimeters to 0.40 millimeters throughout the deck. Overall, this is about a 50-50 split between those two measurements. I've created this stand to give perspective to the flex aspect of cardstock and to create a standard for comparison. A small vise is mounted in the center of two circle protractors. Two magnets are attached to the card with a combined weight of three ounces. The original tarot deck flexes to approximately 43 degrees by my eye, versus the Waitsmith Centennial deck which flexes to about 42 degrees by my eye. So let's look at the numbers comparing the original tarot to the Smith Weight Centennial deck. Total deck height is just slightly taller in the original tarot at 28.8 versus 27.2 millimeters. Card size between the two decks is identical. Total deck weight in the original tarot is 228.8 grams. That's 13.8 grams heavier than the Smith Weight Centennial deck. Card weight in the original tarot is 2.88 to 2.98 grams, and it is 2.69 to 2.84 in the Smith Weight Centennial. Card thickness is a very steady 50 50 split between 0.39 to 0.40 millimeters in the original tarot, and there's a broader variance of card thickness in the Smith Weight Centennial at 0.36 to 0.39 millimeters. Despite the increased deck weight, the original tarot seems to flex just a little bit more than the Smith Weight Centennial deck. So I clocked it in at 43 degrees versus about 42 degrees with the Smith Weight Centennial.
So I pulled out a couple of cards from both decks just so we could go over some comparisons in a little more detail. You can see that on the original Terra deck there's just a slightly widened border, especially on the sides, compared to the Centennial deck. The most obvious things is that it's a clear bright white with the original Terra deck versus that antique kind of yellowing that the Centennial edition has. Pixie's writing is still maintained and there's no difference between the two cards. The line work is actually improved on the original tarot, so when they say it's been remastered, I do agree that they've done something with the line work, that it does look more crisp. I actually do like the color choices. They're still true to the card. They didn't overly modernize the colors between the new deck and the Centennial Edition. I like the death card here because of the bright yellows that they've included. The priest almost you know, shines with that golden yellow. He is yellow, of course, in the Centennial Edition, but it's just more of a striking kind of gold coin sort of yellow over in the original tarot deck. I also like the coloration of the skull of death that really makes that stand out. Same thing as his flagpole and then the redness of the eye's horse. Let's look at the sun. So in this edition, they've it does not have that little extra squiggly line there, but it seems to still be based upon the same uh, Pam A type deck. Um, the child's eyes are just re looks to be redrawn, but they definitely like open, and you can see whites in them. The sunflowers seem have just a little more crisp edges to them. The horse pretty much looks the same. Maybe the angle is just just slightly different. really like the strength card because I think she comes off more as a beauty in this particular card because of the difference between the background color yellow, the hair color, the kind of crown of plants that you can see in her hair. You really can see that her lips are red. And I think they also have the white of the eyes in the lion here. It just makes it a little bit more detailed. Here's another one where I just feel like the face of the chariot is just a little more clearer and easy to read. Lover's card still holds true to form. I feel like you can see her eyes and face and his eyes and face a little bit more clearly here. And the fruits on both the tree of life and the tree of knowledge are just easier to discern. In the original tarot deck, I definitely feel, feel again, faces are optimized. You still have that kind of snowy background, and you can still see the windows clearly, but I feel like we get more emotion from the character here. Then I always look at the Queen of Cups because I like to look at the chalice itself because I feel like there's a lot of detail there. And it's definitely clearer in the original tarot deck. And I think it adds a lot to the Queen's presence. I think the original tarot is very easy to shuffle, in part due to the linen finish of the cards. So let's talk a little bit about that linen card stock. Looking at the back of the cards, we can see lines going in both horizontal and vertical directions. And it's clearly visible on the card on the front side as well. It is raised. There's just a very slight tactile feel to it. I can feel it. It's not distracting. It's extremely subtle. And that is kind of what contributes to that. It's a slightly increased flex, but I think the fact that the cardstock is linen-based um, increases the overall durability of the cards. As I already stated in previous videos, I'm a fan of Centennial Deck because I like that antique color. However, 
I love the original Terra deck. It offers a completely modernized experience, but still true to the original Rider Waite Smith. I love the remastered colors, and I love the linen cardstock. I do think it adds to the durability overall. Essentially, the measurements between the decks were pretty much just about the same. We we're talking about only tiny, tiny differences in card weight and size between the two. If you ask me which one would hold up the longest, I actually do think it's the original tarot deck because of the linen cardstock. I think it's an underappreciated deck, and I think most people who do purchase it and use it are typically blown away just by the colors and the feel of the deck, and it becomes quickly a favorite deck. So if I say the Centennial deck is kind of the standard deck, I would say the original tarot to me is my favorite Rider Waite Smith deck, following the original images. Now your personal mileage might vary on this. Let me know in the comments. Otherwise, I hope you found this interesting and insightful, and if not, perhaps a little entertaining, and I'll see you next time.